Ladies and gentlemen in YouTube land, thank you guys for showing up. Appreciate your time because you could have went anywhere else, but you came here. So that means a lot to me. Can't speak for other people, but I truly appreciate it. Uh, channel's growing and you guys are uh, sending in donations. Uh, definitely want to take a moment to say I appreciate you all. All right. So you guys want to know a little bit more about the definitions of, you know, all this stuff with citizenship. Um, um, thank you guys for the questions. Thank you for, you know, emailing me. All that information should be down below, um, you know, email, all the other stuff. So, okay. So when you're born, all right, um, you are a national because you're born in that state. Each state basically is its own country. Okay. These are a whole bunch of countries, just like in the EU who uh, have come together and recognize each other. And, um, but they're also considered states. States and countries are synonymous. Okay, so when you're born, you're already a national. When your parents applied for, typically your mother, um, for your birth certificate, your uh, social security, your whatever else, um, all those federal benefits, okay, you were unknowingly enrolled into being a 14th Amendment uh, citizen, which is, you know, was created for the slaves back in the old days. It's how the federal aspect of it uh, brings you in to basically be a citizen of the U.S. or the United States, not the United States of America, Republic. Okay. So you've got your citizenship. Everyone's like, oh, I'm a citizen, of, you know, of America. Okay. You are a national, really, um, which is the same thing as the United States of America Republic. So you are a citizen. But first and foremost, you're a citizen of your particular state that you were born in. You are a citizen. You can also, I believe, get citizenship for the new state that you live in as well. Um, in the old days, states used to be able to issue passports, but I, I think they took away those rights some time ago. So I think they can, but they pretty much don't do that. They allow just the, the federal aspect of it to handle that now. Okay, so what is a non-U.S. national, a national, a you know, U.S. citizen, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so just jumping right in, doesn't mean first or last is better. Um, a non-U.S. national, okay, means that you were born in one of the outlying territories um, or individual countries that the federal government, the United States owns, like Guam, Puerto Rico, one of those. And we're for just for the sake, we're not going to get into that truly means it's a three star or three asterisk or whatever else, because like I said, we don't fully know what those mean. Um, but we have seen that typically they get those, but then also um, people trying to declare themselves as nationals have also gotten it. So we're just going to kind of leave that alone for right now. So a non-U.S. national means you were born outside of the uh, 50 states, okay? Because each state owns itself. The federal government wasn't allowed any land in that area, okay? So anything new that they got after the states were obtained, like Puerto Rico and Guam and whatever else, um, the islands and whatever, uh, that's their land. They own that. That is part of the United States. And remember, the term the United States references the federal government. Okay. So that's a non US national. Okay. Because they're saying you don't, you're not without, you're not within the, well, you're within their term of the United States. So imagine just take the word the United States to mean a corporation. Okay, like Starbucks, the Starbucks. Okay, I know it's a little weird, but that's exactly what it is. So anybody born in the outlying islands and those areas are a non-U.S. national. A U.S. national means that, or also called a national um, or national of uh, the United States of America Republic or state citizen. Um, and also the IRS uses the term um uh, non-resident alien is how they refer to the same. So these are all the same. And that means you were born in your particular state and you have proof of that because of your birth certificate. I was born here. Um, 
And that's by your God-given right um, within the continental United States, you are a national, okay, or a state citizen, or, a, you know, some people even want to throw in, like, sovereign American. Don't use that one. Um, in the old uh, cases and, and laws um, for common law, they would talk about, you know, an American and being sovereign and kind of throw in sovereign-ish American. Um, but don't use that. Cops hate that one. They hate that with a fiery passion because there is no book um, or passport or anything that claims uh, sovereign American. And all it sounds like to them, remember, these people are, they, some of them are nice people and they're doing their jobs. And, and, and by code, remember, these people are all like, you know, by code, okay? There's no anything that says sovereign American. They understand diplomat. A lot of them will understand states, state citizen, um, national, non-U.S. national. They know these terms, but officially there's no sovereign American. So don't get pulled over and claim I'm a sovereign American. You're, it's just they don't understand it because in their world, remember, they're the ones with the guns. So just be cool. Um, you know you're right, but you're using the wrong terminology. And I'm only saying this because I use the wrong terminology from watching other people's videos. Um, and then I had to find out for myself through friends and, you know, uh, family who are cops and stuff. Okay. So that's non-U.S. national. That's also national or U.S. national. I talked about that one. Um, U.S. citizen. What is a U.S. citizen? Everyone's like, yeah, I'm a U.S. citizen. Yes, you are. Because when you were born, your mom, um, and father made the decision to enroll you into all the benefits of the federal government, you know, i.e. your, pat, your, um, Social Security, your birth certificate, any of those things, um, you know, and anything that's, you know, federal. Okay, so what that really means is it means that you are a employee. They're recognizing you as being basically federal property. Okay, even in the military, they, they typically write in all capital letters. Um, it also denotes a non-living entity, a corporation, um, a person, um, which by definition, a person is can be a corporation or a non-living entity or even a beast, you know, an animal. Um, so because that's how they've defined those things. So a U.S. citizen is a 14th Amendment citizen, somebody who's been given um, privileges and benefits of being a federal employee or federal property or in the old days, it was a slave because, you you know, you got your number and that's, you know, how you got your your benefits. OK. Um, so those are the three off the top I can think of. Um, and those three are recognized, you know, throughout the, the government system. So that's why if you look at your passport on the bottom, it will say, you know, under perjury and penalty thereof, blah, blah, blah. I declare that I am a U.S. citizen, okay, which going back to that, it means a federal citizen, not a, what everybody just thinks of as a typical, I'm, I was born in America and I'm an American citizen. It's not what they're saying. Um, and Or, it's, then it goes on to continue, excuse me, it then says, or a non-U.S. national, okay, both of which are still underneath the jurisdiction of the federal government. OK, um, that's just how it's written. And that's why if you continue to read this information for those people who have been making these mistakes, um, it'll say in the same paragraph down below page one of two um, in the center uh, in the all white area on there, your DS-11, same as the DS-82. It'll say in there, all this I confirm to be true to the best of my knowledge, you know, and you take an oath to this. OK. The next sentence then says, unless a, an explanatory statement, some people use the word affidavit, but I like to use their words. So get their words in your head. So they try to ask you, you're not saying, well, I supplied or submitted an affidavit. No, I submitted a explanatory statement. Okay. So when you fill it out, use explanatory statement on the top. When you, so it says, all this I can learn to be true unless an explanatory statement is provided. And that's where you're going to want to put in your declarations of exactly what you're claiming. Okay. Um, that then supersedes or overrides 
whatever you put on there. They take a majority of that information, they read your explanatory statement, and so that's why they don't want you to cross out anything on the form. Do not cross out anything. Do not underline anything. Don't make any, don't do anything in those boxes because by their code and their law, um, you are changing the, the oath that you're swearing to. So to them, that's illegal. You're committing perjury. So you don't want to do that. They will deny you. You're, you're, you've given them the excuse to deny you because you're kind of a slave waking up. And what happens when the whack-a-mole sticks his head out of the hole? Whack! Okay? So don't do it. To save you some time and some money. Because they will continue to keep letting you screw up and take your money. And then, you know, you can ask them for the reasons why. Take some time. They'll give you a letter back you're denied because of these reasons and they, you know, because you altered the oath. You can't alter the oath. You just can't. It's theirs. Okay. But you can provide them with your version of it um, as you see fit, depending on how you want to you know, declare that. Um, for those people who've already bought my version of uh, the explanatory statement, um, they've had great success with it. Um, it is time tested and proven. And but you can do your own. You can go online and get samples. Totally up to you. All right. So that being said, don't alter anything. You merely want to sign it for those people who want to. Remember, this is for educational purposes only. You can also put um, without prejudice, all rights reserved, um, or UCC 1-308 over your signature. But I would suggest waiting until you have um, signed your name and then do it. For some reason, people have done it the other way, have had... Um, Postal people and whatever else uh, not really want to accept it or give you a hard time. Um, but then there's also other ways to submit your passport, which would be through like the courts. And some other places are starting to accept uh, passport applications now, too, as you know, as well. I kind of seen that online. So that's pretty much about it, guys. So that was just kind of a quick rundown. Well, not really quick, but, a, you know, thorough, we'll say, um, of, you know, what a national is, what a non-U.S. national is, and what a U.S. citizen is. So, bang, you guys got that knowledge, go out there and um, go forth. And, you know, hopefully this will take you to where you are you need to be. If you're here, you found this for a reason. So, you know, best wishes. Um, for those people who need consultation, uh, the information is down below. And real quickly, the way that works is you would, you know, send me the 50 and then shoot me your email and whatever else. Um, and then we end up talking once all that stuff has gone through and verified. Uh, I'm a, and like I said, a majority of the stuff, um, I keep it free in the videos. I put a majority of it. I mean, like literally like 90% of it is right here. And I even try to, you know, help you guys, you know, get all the rest of it. All right. But time is money. And well, no one, you know, just pays my bills. <laughs> So, you know, if you need it, I'm here. Um, but a lot of the majority, a lot of the information is just in the videos. So I highly recommend you just going back and watching some of the videos. Because even like some of the smallest things you guys have questions on, which I don't mind having questions, um, are in those other videos. So just kind of go through. And obviously not all of my videos are about passports. I have other stuff on there. Um, and there will be some other stuff there aren't this. Because I've really exhausted... Um, pretty much everything about this. So once the final one comes back, depending on how it's marked, if marked, um, that will probably be the last video um, I need to do until they change, you know, something with that. And then I'll keep you guys updated. So anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you for, you know, checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe, support your boy, the bad wolf, share these videos and judging by the numbers, you guys are. So thank you in advance. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Peace out.